Baby Bus. Let's go, Sheriff Labrador. <laughs> Boss Bond's Trouble, Part One. Oi vey, where is Boss Bon? I've been waiting forever! Um, I have no idea, Ron. At the headquarters of the Black Tiger families, a gang in Forestville, two fierce-looking tigers, Consigliere Ron and Capo Don, awaited the arrival of their boss, Bon. Uh-oh, he's never been late. Something must have happened. Shh, Ron, he's here, he's here. At once, Ron and Don shut their mouths, bowed their heads humbly, and looked at the door with one accord. A large black tiger approached slowly, his brow furrowed and his gait heavy, as if he had stones tied to his legs. Ouch! 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 Oh. Uh, boss, are you okay? Sensing something was going wrong, Ron and Don leapt into action, rushed over to Boss Bon like speeding bullets, and put their arms around him to support him. Bon took a deep breath and slowly moved to a chair. His face dropped instantly. I, I don't know quite how to say this, um... Who? Uh, who beat you up, boss? We'll make him pay for what he did. Arr. Yeah, yeah, Ron's right, boss. I will show him my spirited tickling paw. Arr. Ron's eyes flashed with the fierceness of the blazing sun. Don rolled up his sleeves and cracked his knuckles. Oi, vey, listen, I told you a million times, never use your force to solve problems. We Black Tiger families are polite, well-mannered citizens. Ow, ow, ah. And no one hit me, all right? I, I just, ah, let me, hey. Bond trailed off in mid-sentence, as if something suddenly was caught in his throat, choking him up, so that he could not speak another word. Oh dear, go ahead boss, you got us on pins and needles. Bon finally opened his mouth, but his voice was as quiet as the buzz of a mosquito. I, I haven't done it in seven days, alas. Pardon? What'd you say boss? You haven't done what in seven days? Oh, oh Tisk, I, I haven't done that thing, that thing. Oh, you know what I'm talking about. No what? Uh, oh, I have no idea what you mean by that, boss. Uh. I mean, I mean, go oh, boo boo. I haven't taken a number two in seven days. I feel sick to my stomach. As Bond finished speaking, his face turned beet red. <laughs> Come on, boss. We are civilized tigers after all. We don't say go poo poo. We say go to the bathroom. <laughs> Ron and Don stared at each other. Their faces turned red as they tried to suppress their <laughs> smiles. Bond stamped his foot in anger. Hey, you! Why don't you stop laughing and do something, eh? Oh, sorry, sorry, boss. But I, I have no idea how to help. I have an idea, boss. After hearing Don's answer, Bond's eyes sparkled with hope. Donny boy, you never cease to amaze me. Go ahead. My idea is... Is what? Say it out! To see a specialist in the gastroenterology department of Forestville Hospital. When Don finished speaking, he stared expectantly at Bon, who then reached out and tapped Don's head with his finger. Oh, Don, you really are a piece of work. Oh, huh, boss, that's really kind of you to say. You taught me so well. <laughs> hey, that wasn't a compliment. Bon gave Don an angry stare. Listen, if I go to the hospital, oh, everyone will find out that I'm afraid of needles. I mean, I am, after all, the boss of the Black Tiger families. If my secret got out, it would be humiliating. Ow. How could I maintain my public image as an imposing boss? Huh? What would the other tigers think of me? Ow. What would the lions think of me? And the wolves? Ron and Don were both too afraid to say another word. Oi, vey! I really can't count on you guys at all, can I? Ugh. Beads of sweat formed on Bon's forehead, and he felt as if his stomach was going to explode. 
Finally, with a clenched fist and a sharp slap on his thigh, Bond made a decision so big it would rock the Black Tiger families. After many, many years, the position of underbush has continued to remain vacant. Anyone who can figure out a way to help me to have a smooth bowel movement today uh, 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 will be promoted to the underbush of the Black Tiger families. Write that down. A uh, position that is uh, second only to me. That's me, the boss, Don. Nah. At Bond's ouch, words, ouch, Ron and Don's ouch, eyes ouch, instantly ouch. twinkled. They rubbed their hands and began to put their thinking caps on. After letting his wheels turn for a few seconds, Ron seized the opportunity to speak. Oh, boss, I've got an idea. Ron proudly leaned close to Bond and whispered something in his ear. Bond nodded, looking hopeful. All right, okay. Let's do this thing, huh? Ho, 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 ho. At the entrance to Sunflower Kindergarten, Sheriff Labrador and Ms. Lop Rabbit stood waiting for someone, with expressions of anxiety written on their faces. La 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 la, where is Dr. Sheep? We have asked her to give the kids physical exams at the kindergarten. Why hasn't she come yet? As she was speaking, Ms. Lop Rabbit received a text message from Dr. Sheep. Huh? This is Dr. Sheep. I need to take the day off today because I have something very important to do. Row? Well, today was the day scheduled for the students to have their medical checkups. Why would Dr. Sheep suddenly ask for leave? What could have happened to her? Sheriff Labrador furrowed his eyebrows and fixed his eyes on the last word of the message. Roar? That's weird. Dr. Sheep has a habit of ending her speech with a ba, not a roar. There's something very strange about this message. Could something bad have happened to Dr. Sheep? La 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 la! I need to head to her house now and check on her. <laughs> <laughs>